All right, Catherine, thank you. All eyes in Western Kentucky this weekend as the annual Fancy Farm Picnic is officially wrapped up. LEX 18's Conroy Deluche was there all day and he has a look at the political fireworks. On the first Saturday of every August, all eyes are on the tiny town of Fancy Farm. In between games of bingo, there is a struggle to stay cool. And on the plus side, there's plenty of pork and mutton sandwiches to help feed the masses who have converged to St. Jerome Catholic Church for this annual feast. But this is merely an appetizer for the main event. Are you here for the politics at all? Oh, not at all. Nah, <laughs> just the fun. Deb stayed away from the pavilion, but thousands of others did not. They were surrounded by signs, supporters, and of course, those hollering hecklers. As detractors shouted Moscow Mitch, Fancy Farm mainstay and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell threw some shade at his most prominent 2020 opponent, Amy McGrath, who was not in town. She sends her regrets. She's still working up an answer on Brett Kavanaugh with her friends at MSNBC. Then it was time for the main event. Governor Matt Bevan was first up. This is a race about choices. He had one question that he repeated. Which side? are you on? Bevin pitted open borders versus Trump's border wall, standing for America or for socialism. Are you on the side of life? Or are you on the side of those that would take lives and profit from the blood money associated with it? What you heard from our governor today and what you have seen every day of his administration is trying to create an us versus a them. After thanking the crowd, Andy Bashir pointed out that Bevan is not exactly a regular at this picnic. And thank you to the governor for finally showing up. Then his tone turned more no serious, governor. calling Bevan the most dangerous threat to public education in Kentucky. This race comes down to four critical issues. Pensions, public education, jobs, and health care. And on every single one of them, Matt Bevan is wrong. Some of what the candidates tried to preach was drowned out by cheers or jeers, but each one hopes this day marks the start of a furious finish. Election day is barely three months away. In Fancy Farm, Conroy Deluche, LEX 18 News.